start a recording. Here we go and admit, admit all. All right, welcome. So today we are going to learn about how to facilitate transformational webinars. And again, if you wanna show your camera, uh, feel free to do so. I always like to see faces. It's always a lot of fun. Um, if not, that's okay, but it always is more fun and engaging if I can see you. And that way, if you have questions, you can just interact and do some high fives or whatever it is. So if you wanna be seen on camera, feel free to do so. And I think my view, speaker view, gallery view. All right, speaker view. Ah, here we are, sweet. Okay, good, I get to see everybody's faces. Welcome, 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 yay. Fixed it, sweet. Okay, welcome to the webinar. Today is a little bit different. Usually I'm teaching on some sort of technique or modality and today I'm actually teaching you how to teach, which is an interesting dynamic because I'm gonna be teaching you while doing it at the same time. So I'm gonna to have to be doing it and then breaking down what I'm doing. So you're gonna get all of the ins and outs of how to facilitate a transformational webinar. Now, why is this so important? First off, if you're here, you probably have something of value that you want to share with someone else, yes? How many in here would love to be able to share something in a powerful way that by the time you're done sharing, they're transformed. Yeah, cool. If so, go ahead, drop in the chat, let me know. Or if you're on uh, video, give me a big thumbs up, big cheesy grin, super cool. Love it. Thanks, Bill and Doreen, very cool. Okay, so the, the, the power in this is so important. And if you, I mean, we're so disconnected today, right? There's so many people that were all online. It's hard to get physically connected to people. And teaching online is one of the most effective ways to transform people's lives. And each and every one of us has a message inside that we can share, that we can teach, that we can inform or inspire others to do. But if we don't know how, which is a skill set, and we don't follow that, a lot of times we second guess ourselves, we don't feel confident, and then we have all this head chatter, right? Anybody ever had head chatter when you have something exciting that you like? are excited about and you're like, dude, this is gonna be an amazing thing. I'm gonna go create this. And then all of a sudden the head chatter kicks in and the what if and what about this and oh no. And you start thinking about all the hows. And then by the time you're done, you find yourself on the couch, not doing anything or doing the dishes or doing something productively to procrastinate the actual thing that you were inspired to do, right? So many of us do that. But today, by the time we're done, we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna take massive amounts of action. Action, action, action. And that is going to help you get what you want in your life, okay? To do that. So by the time we're done, you're gonna learn how to share a transformational webinar. Now there are three parts to a webinar. One is filling the webinar. One is facilitating the webinar. And then one is selling on the webinar. This focus of today's training is mostly on facilitating. We can do other trainings on the other two. I am gonna teach a little bit on how to sell or inspire people to take action as well, because I think that's very important. But for the main purpose on here, I'll actually wanna go over a whole template of how to start a transformational training and end it where people take action. So it'll be a mixture of the latter two. So it's more of a heavier focus on how to actually deliver transformation and then a little bit on the sales part. Okay. Does that sound good? So if you guys are excited to learn how to transform people's lives through webinars, let me hear you. You can unmute yourself or put in the chat with a lot of caps. <laughs> let me see it. Let me hear it. I'm excited. Hey! Hey! Oh, cool. Awesome. 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 Okay. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tyler Watson. I am uh, 17 years old. No, just kidding. So I am in my thirties. And I love teaching people. I love helping people find their passion, find their joy, monetize it, get results very quickly with as least as possible. And one of, I'll use everybody so you can hear. Awesome. One of my passions, so just a quick backstory. When I first started coaching, I was actually a massage therapist. So I was doing a lot of physical work. And the problem I had is I was always one-on-one, -on -one, right? I, was, I had to be with the person by the person to help them. And the other problem was, is that I could only help one at a time. So my time was limited. My efforts, no matter how hard I worked, I could still only get a certain amount of financial and, and also a certain amount of 
just feeling good about what I was doing. So I wanted to be a speaker. My, my wife actually in, inspired me to become uh, more of a, a speaker and teach online. She had been teaching online for over nine years before I met her to youth. So she was teaching youth and she charged like $400 a course and teach two hours a week for six weeks and get 10 youth in, make 4,000 bucks in a week and then just facilitate two hours a week. And I thought, here I am slaving away all day, barely making anything, charging like $15 an hour or like $30 when I got a little bit better and working hard on them. And I made sure I did a little bit more just to make sure I gave everything on all my heart and soul. And here she is, she's just like, yeah, I inspire people and transform their lives and it's youth. And I'm like, nobody has money. And she's like, yeah, I get 12 year olds to pay me $400. And I'm like, what? Like, who are you? <laughs> Marry me. And she said, yes. So, uh, <laughs> but that's the short version. Mary's on here. She's, that's her mom, by the way, in black. So <laughs> she's like, that's not quite how it went, is it? <laughs> so uh, Emily is amazing. She is the, she was the inspiration before I became Plan A. She helped me, inspired me in so many ways and still does today. And I'm so grateful for her. She would teach this 10 times better than I would, uh, just to let you know, because she is amazing. She taught me how to teach online and I do it in my own way, but she's really amazing because she's had nine more years practice than I did. <laughs> Plus some. With that, my very first webinar I did, I remember I did my webinar and I was like so excited. I put in all this energy. I learned how to like create an opt-in and was so stoked. And I was like, finally, I'm going to do this. And I promoted it and went through town. I posted posters up. I did the works and I put out energy and effort. And I was like, I am going to do this. Three people showed. I was so stoked. I was like, people showed. <laughs> Someone showed up. So I like taught and I didn't know what I was doing. And I taught and taught and taught and taught and taught. And then I did my offer and no one bought. And I was like, all right, that was a lot of energy. And I feel like a loser. Like I felt, I wanted to make money. I wanted to really deliver. And I felt like I failed. I did. So I did it again and again and again and again. And I did live events and I did webinars and I did it again and again and again and again. And I had very similar results where one or two people would show, no one would show. And I would just keep teaching and keep delivering and keep practicing and keep going at it. Until I remember doing one webinar, I had like 15 people on. Well, this one we only have 16 people on. Right? So it doesn't matter how many people. And out of that webinar, I made over $13,000. Okay. So then I thought, hmm, two hours worth of work. $15,000. Not bad. Now, of course, you have to deliver and there's more work afterwards, but it still felt really good. I was like, wow, that was like way easier than my whole year working my heart and soul out, barely making $13,000 the whole year. And I thought, maybe if I get better at this and I continued and continued and continued. And since then, we've, we've done so many webinars. I've done more than I can count and I've taught on all sorts of different subjects. And some of you have been popping on every week with these random, I just I'm doing random subjects, seeing what really resonates, seeing what people like, seeing what helps. And we have done really well and for some foresight. So like hundreds of thousands of dollars well through webinars. Okay. So you don't have to have a huge list. I started with zero list. You don't have to have a huge following. I started with zero following for a little town of Green Forest, Arkansas. I, you don't have to even know who you are, or what you're doing, but you do need to have a couple things which I'm going to show you today. And by the time you're done today, you'll be able to step in with power, with confidence, and regardless of the headshot, be able to deliver a really awesome experience for people and help them get transformational results. And hopefully make some good money at it as well. Does that sound good? All right. Uh, we've got an update. You restart now another time. Okay. Restart another time. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So back to this. So how, what is transformation? When you think of transformation, what do you think of? When you think of the word transformation, if I help someone transform, this is where we're going to interact. So for those of you who don't know what I do, I like to hear your feedback. I like to get you a little bit active. So I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself, answer, then mute yourself again, maybe type in the chat box and how you do things today. Because when we do things, we retain it, we remember, and it becomes part of us. But if we only listen, here's the problem. You'll get inundated with so much information. We're in information overload these days. There's information everywhere. You could YouTube it, right? But the problem with information is if you don't apply it, then you start to have all the mind chatter of all the shoulds you should do because now you have more knowledge without the application and then it gets overwhelming. So knowledge about application can actually do you a disservice, but if you apply the knowledge, then you can become and transform. So what is your definition of transformation? You think of delivering something that transforms, what do you think? What comes to your mind? Let's hear it. A dramatic change. Dramatic change, very good. Your back says you inspire and bless her too. Oh, thanks. Cool. What else? Transformation. Shifting. Like uh, the per you can see somebody's physiology change or their, their energy change or there's something that you can see that they're from one moment to the next, they, they, they look different. Okay, so behave different, talk different. Behave different, talk different, feel different. They appear different. Right, good. One more, one more share. What do you think of when you think of transformation? I feel like it's living your authentic self, like your mind and your body are doing the same thing. Good, so my body doing the same thing, you're in your authentic self. Awesome, very good definitions. Shifting energy, good. Okay, and for those of you brand new, just curious, how many of you are new to anything that I've done? You really haven't followed me much because uh, we have a lot of people who have been on here before. But I'd love to know anyone new to this, anyone uh, this kind of, uh, never really done a webinar with me live or is kind of new to you. So just drop in the chat. I'd love to know kind of where you're at, how much knowledge you have on some of these things. I'll be teaching. 
So go ahead and put that in chat. That gives me some good context on what I need to teach on. All right. And if you do that, that'd be great. Adriana, I'm new here. Welcome. Welcome, Adriana. Adriana, very cool to have you here. Okay. All right. So transformation starts from the beginning. Starts from the beginning. In fact, it even starts before the beginning. So when you go into something you're going to teach, how you go into it makes a huge difference. Your intention, the energy and focus you put into something before it happens, makes a huge difference. So if I'm doing a webinar, I already know if it's going to be a failure or a success before I do it. It starts with how you feel, how you think, and how you show up. I remember when I first started back and trying to teach people, I would come in with a lot of doubt, a lot of looking for validation through people. And when people didn't show up, it felt like my value decreased because I was dependent upon other people to make me feel good. So if I didn't have the numbers, I felt like the numbers were the value. Like if I have hundreds of people on, then I'll feel good enough. Then I'll feel like I'm an expert. Then I'll feel like I have something valuable to teach. But the problem is when we label or wait for external situations or circumstances to give us emotions or emotional states, we continue waiting a long time. And you have to be the creator of what you're creating. So in a transformational webinar, it starts with you before the game. So when I go into this, even planning for this, I thought it out, even wrote some things out about my intention of what, how I want to show up, how I want to feel. So it starts with you. So the first thing before you want to map out how you feel, how you want to experience. So for me, I wanted to feel excited. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to feel in tune. I want to feel intuitive, like it flows. So those are my intentions coming in here. So you have to set how you want to show up, how you want to feel. The second part is after you set how you, so this is all about you, then you want to do some intentions about them, the people listening or watching or experiencing it. So how do you want them to feel or experience? So on here, my intention was by the time we're done today, that people are going to come alive, they're going to be more excited, they're going to feel more confident, and they're going to believe in themselves that they can teach transformation to other people and monetize it. And they'll be excited about it, no matter their past perceptions, that second learning from today, they're going to come out a changed person, a changed human being ready to apply and hit the ground running. So it starts then, not during, but before, before you even begin. Now, I hope as you're listening to this, that you don't just apply this to webinars or transformational things. You can apply this to anything you do, like how you show up as a spouse, how you show up to your kids, how you show up to your clients. And what you put into it before going into it makes a huge difference. It does. So that's the first part, how you feel and what you're going to experience, what they feel or what they're going to experience. Once you have the feelings, and why do you want the feelings? Here's why. You could map out just logically, hey, I want them to learn this, 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 this. But learning is different than transforming. Someone can learn something. It's knowledge. Like I could teach you, and it's part of it. I could teach you, here's the steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, which is useful for the logical brain. But then if you go try to implement the steps, if you haven't become the person ready and capable and excited about what you're teaching, then it'll be like, uh, you ever been in school where they, uh, where the teacher, or you ever seen Snoopy, where the teacher's like, that's what you become. You're like, oh, please turn it off. And you see people like leaving and like, this is so boring. Why a waste of time? So you have to put the intention that you don't care what other people think. That's huge. You don't care what people think. That doesn't mean you're rude to them. And it doesn't mean that you, you do mean things, but you don't care per se what they think because you're here to deliver a message. And when you deliver the message, you know that you keep singing your song, you keep delivering your message. And if people throw rocks at you, if people run from you, if people call you names, if people throw hate mail at you, if they send messages for you, whatever they do, realize that you're going to keep singing your song. You're going to keep sharing your message. So it, eventually you share your message enough and the message finds those who are ready for it. But if you stop sharing the message because those who listen reject it, you'll miss out on so much impact, you will. And I know in the past I did, I stopped, I stopped for time because I let other people's what they thought and said influence me and I stopped singing my song. I stopped believing in myself. But every single one of you has a message that if you continue to share and you don't care if it falls on deaf ears, you're going to sing the song because you know it's your duty. It is your purpose to continue to teach, to share, to inspire, but it doesn't matter how it's received. You will always improve. You'll always get better. And you can't base it off of people and how they treat you. Okay. That's super important. Super important. Got it? So if you got that big thumbs up and cheese in, or just type it in the chat box. I got it. Cool. Very good. Love those two years. Okay, so start to you. Then about them. Okay. What they're going to feel and experience. This is before pre-game. Also, uh, if you feel down, like going into a, a webinar. So for example, I had a big cheeseburger right before I came in. So I was like, oh, like we were driving all day and I was like, oh, feeling a little down. So I was like, man, I need to get some energy up, right? So sometimes when you go into stuff, also you need to boost your energy and bring more energy than them. The people will raise to the level of your energy. So watch this. This is how not to do a webinar. So if you come to it and you're tired and you're like, Hey guys, how's it going? All right, so today we're going to talk about something really cool today, and it's going to be super exciting. And uh, so, uh, where are you guys from? Go ahead and let me know. All right, well, um, let's keep going. And so, so what that is is I'm not bringing the energy, I'm not holding the space. Okay, so you have to come into your event, into your webinar, with more energy than you think is required. More energy, okay? Because you never have too much. They can always turn you down, right? They can always be like, oh, he's so loud, but they can't really turn you up as much. So you gotta bring more energy than you expect. So anytime I come in, so right before I came in, I knew I was, I felt my energy drop slightly because I just had a huge burger. And I was like, oh man, my digestive system's like kicking in the work on this. So I did some exercises and just 
getting excited and being like doing some affirmations. Like I'm excited. I'm powerful. I love teaching. It's exciting. So I do more energy than even I want to bring into the webinar. So that way when I get into the webinar, uh, so like right before the webinar, you boost yourself up higher than expected. Then when you get into it, you're way more than just your average life of stability, of normalcy. Okay. That way you're bringing it and you can help people feel energized, right? Just curious, how many feel a bit more energized before coming in? Just hearing, listening, participating. Anybody feel a little bit more energized doing that? Yeah. If not, I've not done a very good job. I need to do some things. So that is important because how you show up will reflect how people feel. Also, so about that, okay? So first thing, before the okay? Intention, you, what you're going to feel, what you're going to experience, what they're going to feel, what they're going to experience. Then you raise your level of energy higher than expected. Go into the webinar, okay? That's all before. How do you actually facilitate a transformational webinar? Very good question. So it starts with a couple things. Depending on who your audience is, if you're doing cold traffic, meaning they don't really know you, it's going to be a little bit different than if people do know you, right? So you're going to tailor it to the type of people you're teaching. So for me, I do this with, with people who know me and don't know me. So I do a little bit of mix. So I always act as if nobody knows me. Okay? I'm like, hey, you know me? I share my story. So I got to go into some stories and get some belief up. So first off, you want to welcome in. Okay? So I'm like, hey, welcome. Thanks for joining. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to have you here. Welcome. Right? So you welcome. That's important. People like to feel welcome. How many people like to feel welcome? Yeah? You like to feel welcome? How many people love not feeling welcomed? Like you just feel love feeling rejected. You just love rejection so much. You eat, breathe, and sleep it. Some of you probably do that, but you don't love it right? It's like, oh, I just feel that all the time, but I don't love it. It just happens. I don't know what to do. Help, right? So we all like to feel welcome. Secondly, we all like to know who you are. Who are you? Don't guess or think that they know you just because you shared your story 1,000 million times. Treat it as if they don't know you. They're, even if you're teaching your family for the very, and you're like teaching your family, you have your perception of what you think they know about you, but 99% of the time it's not accurate because everybody has their own definition, their own experiences, and only they know. So treat everyone as if they're on ground zero. Okay, does that make sense when you're going to webinar? So what does that mean? It means, hey, introduce yourself. I'm Tyler Watson. I'm Tyler Watson. And then tell them a little bit about who you are. I am a transformational coach, and I love teaching people how to get unstuck in, in minutes and hours instead of days or years. And then you can even share quickly a little bit about you. Okay, you can even share just a quick piece about you. This is called earning the right. You can share that because it helps people believe who you are. So if you remember what I shared today, what story did I share today? Right when we hop on. Your wife taught you how to um, do webinars. Yeah. I mean, that's online. Yeah. So you want to share a story that relates to the topic at hand, okay? So today was on webinars, so I shared my story, and in your story, you wanna make sure there's a pit and a transformation. That's important because if you just share the pit, you'll leave people feeling pretty pitiful. <laughs> so if you're like, if I, if I went into it, I was like, hey, so my name's Tyler Watson, and I'm here today teaching you on webinars. And guess what? I've been doing webinars for a long time, and I've made zero dollars, and I really suck at them, and I've only had three people ever show, and holy cow, there's 20 people on here? Whoa, well, I hope you guys have a good time today. Well, like, I'm sharing a pit, like, I really suck at it, never made money, I've struggled a lot, but I need to share something of a journey. Even if you haven't attained the ideal, you can still share one or two steps into it, which shows that you know about it. It doesn't mean you have to have made tons of money or whatever, but as long as you're two or three steps ahead of someone else, then there's a transformation to share. So my transformation might have been just consistently doing them. That could be it. Maybe if I've never made any money, but I consistently do them and I have a following or something. Maybe I teach on that. I'm like, hey, you know, when I first started, I had three people show up. No one showed up for this time. I felt horrible. It was duh, 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 I felt this, this, this. But guess what? I stuck with it and I kept doing it. And more people showed up and more people enjoyed it. And today I've done over a thousand webinars. And duh, duh, duh. like you go through that, that could be your, your transformation. Right? It's inspiring. It helps people get the belief to say, I'll take some time to listen to this person. Okay. People are questioning and judging you. Is this worth my time? Is this worth my effort? So you've got to help them see that. You do that first with uh, who you are. You got to earn that. Secondly, and these can go in any order. You can do one before, one after. But you got to tell them what they're going to learn, okay? So what they are in it for. What they're going to learn slash experience. So today, oh, by the way, if I spell stuff uh, 14 different ways, it's called creative. Just remember that. Every time you see an error grammatically, it's not an error. It's just called creative. Okay, just remember that. All right, so we say welcome, then who you are, and then what they're going to experience or learn from what you're teaching. So today, remember, going back, what did I say that you're going to get out of today? Do you remember? A transformational webinar. You got it. So by the time you're done, you're going to be able to do boom, give the result. Okay. People love to feel like there is a finite thing that they're going to obtain or become or have by the time they're done listening to something. So you need to present that up front so that their mind isn't asking, why am I still listening to this? Like, what am I doing? Here? What is the point of this? That they're like, oh, I'm waiting for that thing he's going to teach or she's going to teach. Cool. Make sense? If it makes sense to me, big thumbs up. And if you're in, awesome. Okay. All right. So what they're going to learn and explore or uh, experience. Now, once you've done this, I like to, you can also, and who you are, you need to be sure and share in here some, some ideal positive things, like some results. So this is where you want to toot your horn because this is where people are going to give the credibility. Okay. So be sure and do that on, on this part. 
Also, you can then get into, once you do here, I like to, on some of them, you can do this. Depending on your audience. If it's a cold audience, if you do good warming them up, you can really get this happening. But uh, I do this often in mine. So after I share my like expectations, what I'm bringing to it, then I ask, okay, why are you here? This is if you're doing an interactive webinar. And I say, so let's do that right now. So first and foremost, let me ask this. You're here for a reason. You signed up, you're taking time out of your day. What do you want to get out of this training? Go ahead and put it in the chat box. I'd love to see that because that's gonna help me actually mold it to you. So what do you really want? Think about it. Like take the time to answer this because this is very important. If you don't know what you wanna get out of something, you probably won't get it. <laughs> the problem with life is we don't know what we want half the time. So then life happens to us instead of for us. And the goal is to say, this is what I want out of today. This is what I want out of my marriage. This is what I want out of my business. This is what I want out of this spirituality journey that I'm on. This is what I want. This is what I want. And if you know what you want, you'll be able to know where you're going to go. But if you don't know that, then it's very difficult and it can take you anywhere. You could go anywhere and you could say like, well, I don't really know what I want. Well, cool. You can take any path. And it doesn't matter. And then you're going to waste a lot of time, a lot of energy, and you come up frustrated until you know what you want. So what do you want to get out of today? What is it that would totally inspire you? And you can leave this and say, Dude, this was the best hour or two hours of my entire day. <laughs> at least that, maybe week, maybe year, but at least today. Like, this was the best hour or two of my day. Like, what would have to happen for you? So we've got, uh, Adriana says, deliver transformational webinars. Phew. Good intention, good intention. David says, more effective webinars to help my participants accomplish better health. Very specific. I love that. Awesome. Who else? Let's hear a couple more. Uh, Mary Black says, I want to do more live webinars. Good. Um, Trace says, well, even when I come to your meetings, I feel frustrated with finding the chat box and being aware of interactions. Yeah. So then what do you want? Right. That's some of the, the cycles that aren't serving you. So what do you want? Is that, do you want it to be able to not feel frustrated, to be able to facilitate without that frustration? Good. So these are all great answers. Okay. Belen says to do a webinar and balance information they want versus vomiting too much info on them. Very good. Anyone ever felt that where you're like in a meeting and they like vomit all over you? You're like, hey, what do you do? And they're like, oh, 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 let me tell you. And then like 30 minutes go by and you're like, I don't want to be rude, but I am going to be rude because you're taking away too long, right? And they're just like, blah, 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 vomiting, right? Good. It's a very good skill. Trace says, I want to hear what they say and feel confident with technology. Good. I love this. Good. Okay. Virtual round of applause to all these shares. Well done. These are awesome. These are huge. All right. And uh, if you're uh, virtual, you can turn to the person in the camera and give them a virtual high five. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Very cool, very cool. We're having fun. So another thing you can do, which I don't do very often because I do it with the intention, is you can also set some, some uh, rules or things that you want to have happen. So the next piece you could do is you could say, okay, so it's like creating a container. Okay, so you're, you're creating a container because your job as the facilitator is to contain all the different people out there, which we're like cats. You know, Jim Rohn said, like trying to help people is like hurting cats. And you're like, Rawr! running all over the place. And you're like, like, run another. You're like yeah, by the time you get one cat, the other one's on your face and you're like, ah, and then the other ones are running and it's chaos, right? So running webinar can be that way. In fact, running live events and webinars are very similar. One time I was doing a, a live event and I was facilitating and teaching. This is when I was just starting off and I didn't know how to help people very good. And I was teaching and there was this one guy in the very back and uh, he, he like, uh, I'm like, are there questions? And he like raises his hand kind of, and I'm like, okay, what do you want to say? And he starts to like attack me and he's like, you don't have any background and money and I have a degree in economy and economics and all this stuff. And like what you're saying is totally wrong and not helpful at all. And I'm like, I don't know how to handle it. And I'm like, okay, anyone else have any questions? So like, <laughs> it shut me down. It affected me. I like didn't know what to do. And I was like, oh man, like, I'm just trying to help people. And I got like called out and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So that was like the cat jumping on your face and you're like, get off, get off. And then all the other cats are like, oh, running away. Right? So we don't want that to happen. We want it to where when opposition or something throws a fork in it, you can manage the energy. And you do that by setting a container on it, by like uh, setting some guidelines, some expectations or rules. So you can set rules slash expectations. Expectations, okay? Now, setting this allows for more freedom, allows for people to feel more safe, especially if you're dealing with health and finance, like anything, honestly, because people don't like to share when they don't feel safe, right? How many like to feel safe and secure when you open up? It's very good to feel, right? Yeah. But if you don't feel safe and secure, you don't trust someone, do you really tell the whole truth? Do you really open up to the fullest? You might share some of it, but then you hold back. And a lot of times we hold back. I think women do this. My wife teaches me all the time. I have to get better at this all the time. But they, they only say part of it, hoping that you'll go deeper if you really listen and really care, right? And that's an important skill. 
So we want to have these rules and expectations. So some things you can do say, okay, hey, for this webinar, we've got a couple ground rules I want to go over. Number one, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be having fun today. It's going to be exciting. We're all going to transform. It's going to be epic. It's going to be the time of your life if you want it. Then uh, we're going to talk about state changes and interactions here in a second. So now we can get you guys to interact. So let's do that. So it's like, okay, how many here are cool and excited to have some fun today? Yeah, let's see a bunch of hands, thumbs up, put in the chat box on camera. Sweet. Thank you. Love seeing all those. Cool. So we want to have fun. And fun is good because fun helps us learn. When we're not having fun, it actually, you don't learn very much. It just becomes knowledge again, right? So part of transformation is incorporating humor and fun, being fun with it. Even if you teach a subject that's really deep or really hard. One of my good friends and mentors, uh, Dan Clark, you ever met Dan Clark? He helped write a lot of the books on the uh, chicken soup for the soul, right? And he's a national speaker. He does a ton of stuff. He's here in Utah. He's a good friend of mine. He is just going out to on an airplane the other day. He was going to the uh, Hawaii to go speak to our, our, uh, the military. And he's going to teach on some dark, deep uh, subjects from suicide to all these deep, deep subjects in depression. But he brings humor in a very respectful way to show people that no matter how dark times get, that we can still lighten up, we can have fun along the journey. So he's a great example of that. If you wanna learn how to incorporate more humor, uh, check out Dan Clark, he's amazing. All of his speeches, super powerful, um, but also a lot of humor. Maybe I'll see if he'll hop on sometime and, and teach us together, that'd be fun, that'd be super cool. But he loves all the world, he's super amazing. Um, cool, so add humor, okay? Set rules and expectations, so one, have fun. Another one is I like to show, uh, I like to have a rule that we're gonna be safe especially if we're going to get into some of the deeper subjects and have really le high levels of respect. So that's simply teaching them the principle and then having them agree to it, okay? So, hey, we want to make sure that we feel really safe, we can share it, but it's real to us. Can everybody agree to have high levels of respect no matter what's shared, what belief systems you're from? That way we can get really transformational here. Is that okay? You guys game with that if we get real raw and get vulnerable and respect other people's beliefs and what they say? And just, can we all agree to that? Yeah? Great. Part of getting people to agree is actually waiting for them to agree, okay? If you're just saying the motions, people will see that you don't listen to them. So if you just go through the motions of like, hey, welcome to the webinar. I'm so excited. Here's my name. And here's this. And here's this. And everybody's excited to hear. Hey, come on. We're going to have fun. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay, moving on. Let's do this. And you don't wait. It shows that you're selfish. You're not really caring what they do. You're just going through motions. So wait for responses. This is really important. If you want to get people to transform, wait for them to respond. Got it? So what do we wait for? We wait for them to respond. Respond. What if they don't respond? Good question. If they don't respond, do wait. Ask again. <laughs> so if you've seen me do other webinars, even uh, what was it, yesterday, I think it was yesterday I did, I did a training. And I was like, okay, let's get three shares. And I'm like, one, two, and then nobody was for the third one. And I was like, great, but I'm going to until we get that third share. Who would like to share? And I just hold the space. You dictate whether people take action or not. So I could say, this is what most people do. Let's get two, three shares, and then nobody, crickets. Okay, well, I'll share so I don't feel uncomfortable uh, because I just invited everybody, and no one's taking action, so I feel bad because no one's listening to me. And I don't think you're, this is all the internal actually happening. And they're like, I don't feel like I'm in control, and I don't think they're listening to me. And they go down the spiral instantaneously where they don't hold the space. But what the audience is doing, they're testing you. They're testing you to say, is this person really here? Are they really going to hold to their word? Or are they just one of those people who just keep moving on? So be the person you want massive transformation, hold the space, wait for the answer. If it doesn't come, step up your energy, change it a little differently, phrase it a little differently, ask again. Okay? And maybe change how they interact. Maybe it's like, hey, nobody has a microphone. Okay, put in the chat. And if nobody's in the chat, say like, hey, can you guys hear me at all? Like, hello? Can you, can you let me know in the chat? That way I know I'm not like, just talking to an empty box here. This thing even on? Hello? Hello? Like, you, you, you got fun with it, you know? Like, is anyone out there? <laughs> so I have fun with it. People like it because we all are in our own worlds. We're all doing our own thing, right? But you've got to bring cats back, right? I know, I know I'm a cat too. So we're all like, Rah! like we have our phones and kids running around and we're like, hey, you guys pay attention. Like, this is good stuff. This is going to change your life. Be present, which goes in the third rule. Okay. So the third rule, third rule boundary or expectation. So first one, I like to have fun. Second one is more of like safety and respect. And then the third one is more of being present. So being present is really important. And what we like to do to be present is... <clears throat> To pay attention, engage, ask questions. Okay, so you have to set the stage for how people interact with you. I used to teach a lot of youth, and I, one time I went into this train or this uh this this teaching where they've been taught for several months, and the teacher said that they don't interact, they don't do anything. I was like, in my I was like, no, you, it's not the kids that aren't interacting, it's you. And I didn't tell them that, but we, if you have an audience that's not interacting, it's not the audience, it's you. Okay, it's always you. That's that can feel like a heavy burden, a heavy responsibility. If you take that responsibility, it means you can change it. Okay, so I go in, there's this, these these youth, and I'm like teaching, and they're like not interacting at all. So I hold the space, I get them to interact. I say, hey, raise your hand if you have a question. Okay. Let's get one question before moving on. Who's got a question? And like, nobody. So then I like, ask a different way. Okay, so regarding this, what is a question that you could form to take this deeper? And I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. And finally, one of them's like, oh, you could do this. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. And what you do is you, you bring people out of the shell. Transformation happens, and there's energy that's put in to change. Think about a caterpillar going to become a butterfly. Is there energy put into becoming a butterfly? Like, how much preparation happens for a caterpillar to become a butterfly? Is it a little or a lot? Lots of eating energy. Tons of it. Lots of preparation. So they're munching all day, and then they build this huge cocoon, and then they wait, and that energy is building, building, until it happens. So our goal as a transformational teacher, which is who you are, you have to take on that identity that you are a transformational teacher. I forgot to mention that that's like the biggest thing that I could leave with you today. If you leave here with an identity and a decision to say, I am a transformational teacher, 
I am a transformational teacher, and you do your daily actions and how you show up in the world coincide with that identity, then all these things will start to fall into place. And you'll feel it because you believe it and you know it. But if you think that, oh, well, I'm just kind of a okay teacher, I'm not really transformational, I'm just kind of a teacher, then that is not going to get you a transformational experience. You have to embrace the identity of the result you want. You have to embrace the identity of the result you want. There is power in becoming more than doing. The doing helps us become, but it's the decisions of who we are and the identity we take on that will dictate what we do, how we feel, how we think, how we communicate. You guys on this? You picking up what I'm laying down? Yeah? You scratching that? Or do you, I don't know all those phrases, but anyway, you got it, right? Good. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Good. Questions about this so far? Right, we'll get, let's get two shares, two takeaways. What are you getting out of what's been taught up to this point? Let's get two shares. Who likes share? Well, I really love the identity piece because I've always been pretty uh, holding back type of person. So, because uh, I'm afraid, but if I believe it and I know it and I do it, then I just have, then that should go away, right? If I have to hold that space for the identity of being a transformational teacher. Yeah. So, really embracing that identity and then believing it and doing it. Just natural. Yeah. Just letting it be natural. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Very cool. Virtual round of applause. Thanks for sharing, Tracy. Love it. Awesome. Okay. Who else? Let's get one more share. So I, I can relate to what you're saying. I mean, there's been many times where I've been in situations where it's like, you kind of don't know what the turnout is going to be. And it, it could be applicable to anything. Like you're meeting somebody for the first time or you're going in for a job interview or something. And so I can relate to what you're saying because I find that I have been more successful when I take that moment before walking into that door and saying, you know, you know, you know, dressing the way, you know, to the next level or just pumping myself up enough and seeing myself being successful and expecting only that's not whatever, whatever the circumstance is. So I can, I can definitely relate to this and in, in, in what you're saying. And it's, it's thank you for yeah, reminding right. me. I'd forgotten that. Yeah. And expecting the best, that's going to make a huge difference because if you go into it, when you go into those webinars, expecting the best, then it makes such a difference in how you present and how you deliver. Um, and we have a couple of ones here which says, uh, Adriana says, I love knowing that you can elicit responses by holding the space and reframing questions. Yes, yes, yes. Super powerful. Uh, David, waiting can seem uncomfortable, but it is truly necessary. <laughs> yeah, it's actually some of the most uncomfortable spots. But in that uncomfortableness, in the waiting, it's like in the cocoon. The waiting has to happen for the transformation to occur. So when you wait, don't move on because you'll burst out of the cocoon not ready and you'll flop and not fully evolve. But if you wait, holding that space, you're building the energy until people are ready to un unlock their potential, which is so awesome. Great job for one applause for all those shares. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, couple pieces. Let's talk a little bit about state changes interaction. So what we're doing right now is, what is a state change? A state of being, a state is like a way of feeling. So if I'm feeling happy, I'm in a certain state. If I'm feeling tired, I'm in a certain state. If I'm feeling disconnected, I'm in a certain state. If I'm feeling connected, I'm in a certain state. If I'm feeling excited, if I'm feeling scared, those are all states. So in a transformational webinar or any type of thing that you're doing that's transformational, we want to change states, help people change states. You can do that by several things. Now, one of the ways that we're doing it right now, so when I asked a question, who can map out how I asked the question and how I responded? What were the two things that I did after asking, or the three things that I did after asking the question? Let's see if you guys can pick up on that. So after I asked the question, there was a couple things I did. What were they? You smiled. Smiling. Yeah, that's important. Like when you ask a question, you want to smile because if you ask a question, you're like, okay, who's ready to change their life? People might feel intimidated, right? And they're like, oh, I don't want to answer that. Like, I'm really scared now. And then you're like, who is it? <laughs> like that might be a different webinar. If you want to elicit that response, you might. But that's not the type I like to do. So yeah, smiling when you ask, ask questions. But what else? Like once someone's answered the question, so once you ask a question, someone answers the question, what was done after they answered the question? You said thank you. Okay, before that. You repeat their answer? Ha! You got it. So. This is really important. If you want ma like major transformation, it's really important to, so I could have done this. When someone says a whole thing, I could just acknowledge it and say, awesome, thanks for sharing, woohoo, right? But if you really want massive transformation, people need to feel heard and understood. Massive transformation comes from being heard and understood. So if they feel heard and understood, they're more likely to open up and share more. You're teaching your students how to respond. So if I only respond with, thank you, or, even that's better than not doing anything. If I'm like, awesome, thanks so much, get my hand. That's great. But what if I actually repeat back some of the things and go a little deeper on it? Then it shows I care what they say. I'm not just one with emotions. Okay. So like when you guys were answering, I was really listening. I was like, oh yeah, that's a really good point. And then I either elaborate on it slightly or I just validate it and acknowledge it and be like, wow, yeah, if you did do this, that would make a huge difference. Well said. So you acknowledge what they said and then you validate it. But and and I say this, and, and by saying this, it doesn't have to take away the authenticity of it. Okay. Knowing this doesn't have to make it not as personal. Knowing this can actually make it more personal because now you can intentionally be personal. So if I know the love language of my wife and I intentionally do that love language with my wife, does it make it less authentic? Does it make it less loving? Now, some women might think like you should just know and you should just do it, right? But if it's communicated like this is how I love it, this is how I want it, and I do it that way, it shows that I care, that I actually want to become better. 
and it shows that you're trying hard. You're putting it takes more effort. Okay, so it, in people's minds though, it might feel less authentic because now you know how to do it. But just because you know how to do it, now you can purposely do it. Most of us don't know how to do it. We don't do it on purpose, but that does feel good. So you might as well purposefully know how to help people and purposely help. Does this make sense? Cool. So pat yourself on the back and say, I can purposefully help people. <laughs> it matters. It matters. People matter. You matter. How you treat people matters. Okay, it really does. Good. Okay, and then so repeat back some of what they say and then acknowledge them. And then what do I do after that? Once I said, all right, great. What was the thing after that? After they answer, then there's one more piece. So you answer, you repeat it back, you validate it, and then you say, Round of applause. Round of applause. Yeah, that helps validate and what that actually does. So energetically, you ask a question. So when you ask a question, so there's all these different people, all these different beliefs, all these different thinkings everywhere. And when I ask a question, I'm trying to unite people's thinking, help people unify. So a question is being asked. Question. So all these people are focusing together on one thing, right? It's like they're all in their different perspectives, though. So everybody's coming out in their different ways. So they're thinking, they're thinking, and then one person answers. Ding, 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 ding. So then the focus is here. Everybody's focused on them and you, right? And then once they share and you validate it, then their focus comes back to you by validating it. And then instead of it just being on you, you want it to be a collective energy. So then you say, okay, great. Give that person a round of applause. Allows everyone to send gratitude towards that person, which unites everybody again. It's a very cool thing to have happen. And then you can get back to teaching. And so people, it's like creating closure around, like you teach something, you ask a question, you get all that united, then you can teach the next thing. Boom. So it actually closes one loop, creates the next one, closes it, next one, and allows people to retain a lot more, okay, by doing that. Is that good to know? Good, okay. Very cool, good job. We've covered that, we've covered how to begin, how to go into it, asking some questions there, validating some state changes, but other state changes. Other state changes are things like, okay, cool, everyone type in the chat box one thing you're grateful for. That's a state change, right? So you don't have to do that, I'm just giving you some examples. And another thing could be like, Awesome, okay, if you've done it, give me a big thumbs up and cheesy grin. Like, that's a state change, right? That's one I like to do. Um, another one, if you're virtual, I like that people do I-fives. So they're like, ah, I-fives. <laughs> like, I-fives, you can't really see anybody, but it, it's fun and it helps me. Or you can do I-fives, even when nobody's around. You can do like, hey, turn the person in your camera and give them a high-five. And it's playing. It's just fun. And it helps merge people because when we play together, we grow together. Now, these principles might seem super simple, super like basic. But if you've ever watched other webinars that don't do it, you'll feel a difference. You'll feel and sense a difference. So uh, hopefully now this will be in your awareness so that as you go watch other webinars and for trains, people who don't do it, you'll pick up on them and wish they would. And they're like, give me a state change. Like I do it all the time. I'm like, come on. Like help me interact with people. I want to feel the connection to you. Like you start craving it when you know this. And so I'm going to invite you today because you know this, do it. Okay. So you know this. So now will you commit to practicing this, practicing state changes, practicing getting people involved, practice, help them have an amazing experience here. Will you do that? Yeah. Thumbs up if you commit. Or in the chat box, if you're in the chat box, absolutely got it. Love the thumbs up. Okay, one last thing is you want to validate their interactions. So when you ask for a reaction, so like I just did, thumbs up, put it in there, then you thank them for doing that. Or you say like, great, good job, thank you. Watch if I don't do it. Okay, so just play with me here. Okay, so come here to do the interactions. Thumbs up, put it in the chat box. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the, did you feel how that was just a total like neglect of, like it, almost like I didn't care about you guys, right? So there's a lot of speakers who are really good that do that. And it immediately pulls the audience away for a moment, but they're good enough to bring them back but it affects it in a way where you lose them for a second. And true transformation, you have to stay connected. Be connected, be connected. Be what? Be connected. Connected, connected. yes. So other state changes are fill in blinkers, like I just did. So a good way to help people all merge is um, like fill in the blanks. So if you say something and you're like, all right, we all wanna feel connected. And then you repeat again, we all want to feel what? And then everybody's like, connected, right? So that helps people merge and unite with purpose. Um, also, you can do it with common phrases. Like, so, you know, uh, there's a big saying out there, money doesn't go on. And then you wait for the answer. Money doesn't Trees. go on. Trees. Right? So you wait for it. You answer it. And then, so that's another state change. Just waiting for people to fill in. And then if you want to take it to the next level, you change the paradigm of certain phrases. So let's say there's a phrase that's common. So you can leave a horse to water, but you can't make it. Drink. But you can sure salt its oats. So there's things that you can say that counter common phrases that get people to change their paradigms about stuff. That's a really powerful state change because we all are trained to think certainly. Like, oh yeah, money doesn't grow on. Trees, but then you say, but then you can say uh, something to keep the principle that help it to say. But if you had a lot of trees, but it, what if you had so money doesn't grow on trees? It says money does grow on webinars. So if you like, oh, whoa, I never thought of that. So if you have webinars, you don't need trees. You just need webinars. Go webinar, right? So money doesn't grow on what? But it does grow on webinars. Okay. So that helps people merge and change states as well. Good to know. Okay. Um, Mary says it feels more like you're following a script instead of carrying out the participants. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay. What are you getting? Let's get some feedback, and then I'm going to go into some of the selling part. Okay. So how to sell? How to inspire people to take action? Um, is this good? You guys get good value so far? It's helpful. Good. So let's get like two shares. Uh, just like what are some takeaways? All good points. Maybe good. 
a description of when you ask a question, you send it out to them, get them to all think in a unified manner, hopefully, if they're paying attention. And then when one answers, then that, and then you validate it, bring the, the attention back to you. But then you spread that that positive energy around everybody by saying, let's congratulate them, let's celebrate, they did a good job. High fives for that person. That's yeah. a great person. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, that's good. And yeah, that, that spreading, I, that really does help because if you don't do that, and I've been in a lot of different teams, and the times that they don't do that, it does feel like you're saying a little bit more scripted. And when you do it, it's just more personal. And I think transformation comes when people care, when you can feel the sincerity of their heart. Like at the end of the day, I believe the most powerful transformation comes out of love. And if you can really show that you love the people, that you care about them, that how you interact with them, that you honor them, then transformation will happen. No matter how bad you teach, no matter the, the lack of points that you share, if you teach with energy and love, you could be talking in a different language and people would feel it. They would. They feel it and they just know that you care and they will be transformed. And I, I know some of you have experienced that. I know I, I went to Mexico for years and after that, I didn't know what that people were talking about. But then somebody shared something and they got really spiritual or in tune or very passionate. You could feel the love. Like I remember sometimes some of the people would share things and some of the words I didn't really understand, but I understood the feeling behind it. And I remember the feeling, I don't even know what they said. I just remember feeling from them. So remember feelings more than words. And that is a powerful thing. Very good. Okay. Uh, cool. Virtual round of applause for that share. Thanks so much. Yeah. And Kathleen created group heart. Coherent is so powerful. Love it. Adriana, great value. Good. 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 Okay. Any questions about what we've talked about so far? Like, starting it, facilitating it. Now, once you're getting into the facilitating, a good webinar will take, uh, so after you get through like the beginning part, then you're gonna have some content, okay? So you're gonna have like one, two, or three pieces of content that you teach. In the content, you wanna mix it with state changes, okay? You do wanna do that. You also wanna have stories. Stories are great for state changes. And then also some sort of activity or doing something. Activity. Okay, so if your first thing is like, uh, hey, this webinar is on how to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich. So step number one is we're going to need to get all the ingredients. So the first step is collect the ingredients. So let's say I was teaching on, on this. The first step is collect the ingredients. Second step is to put the PB, P, oh my, P, <laughs> PB on bread, right? And then maybe the third step is to enjoy it. So like eat it, right? So each step, so let's say I'm gonna teach this. I would be like, okay, so step number one in what I'm teaching today on how to make sandwiches is to collect all the ingredients. Now to collect all the ingredients, Let's map that out. So for making a peanut butter jelly sandwich, what are all the ingredients? So see how I'm wanting to interact and involve the audience? I could ask them questions that if they know, I'll ask them so that way they participate. So I want participation. I also share a story and be like, you know, there was a time when I thought I knew all the ingredients and I went out to the store. I bought this mix of like peanut butter and jelly together. And it was like the smuckers thing. And I thought, hey, this will save me time making peanut butter jelly I remember picking it out and actually like trying to make the PB&J and I took a bite and I was like, ugh, like what is this stuff? This is not peanut butter or jelly. Like, this is not how you make sandwich. So I decided right then and there, never again, always buy peanut butter separate from the jelly. So you can go into a story that would help people believe it. And then maybe an activity. All right, so everybody, imagine in your hand you have a bread. So put out your hands, imagine you have a bread in there, right? See how I'm interacting and getting people to be involved. If I don't do that, here's how boring it would be. All right, so step number one in making a peanut butter jelly sandwich is to collect all the ingredients. So here's all the ingredients in peanut butter jelly sandwich. First, you want to get the bread. Second, you want to get the peanut butter. Third, you want to get the jelly. Also, you need a knife to spread the peanut butter, and you need a knife or spoon so that you don't contaminate the jelly. That is all you need for the ingredients of step one. All right, step number two. So see how I'm just information based versus transformation based? There's a big difference. So what is the difference for you? Just a big question. What's the difference between teaching? Just here's all the points versus teaching with the transformation. I'm more of an interactive person. So doing something and putting your hands and moving around with it, it makes it a little bit more Good. real and it comes into my body better. Yeah, so it comes into body retention, right? When they're actually participating. Good, who else? Uh, so that's three. Yeah, uh, it feels like when you ask questions, it makes my brain light up. You know, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I have to think rather than just taking everything. Yeah. So you, Good. you want me to take everything in and think at the same time? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you start thinking the retention and doing and it makes you light up asking the questions. Very good. Okay. And then uh, everyone learns better when they just take a group. Okay. Oh, good. Very good. Round of applause for all the shares. Okay. So going into steps, you'll teach whatever steps you have. Less is more. You got to remember this. This is the hardest thing we have as teachers. I still struggle with it. Like today, I wanted to teach you marketing. I wanted to teach you transformation. I want to teach you sales. I was like, man, to really teach a transformational like webinar, I got to teach all these things. And I was like, man, it's gonna, I'm going to be here all day like, to teach all this. And so I always just on a wife, I'm going to teach for money every time. Less is more, less is more, less is more. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, less is more. Like, don't, don't do too much. So, so I was like mapping this whole thing out. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to teach organic traffic. And, and then I'm going to teach uh, how to get organic and how to get like paid traffic and how to like, create, create your landing page and like how to do this and how to do that. And I was like, then we haven't even got to the transformation part. And I was like, then how to facilitate the transformation and how to do this. And I was like, then we haven't even got to the sales part. And I was like, then how to share stories and how to come up with money and all the problems and solutions. And I was like, these are like webinars within webinars within webinars within webinars, right? I'm thinking about actually doing a challenge Monday. Maybe we'll do a five-day challenge on all pieces that we have days to go to instead of just a webinar on just one piece. Right? I think that'd be super fun. But less is more. Less is always more. Okay. When you're going to teach, try to make it as simple as possible. It's better that people leave with a belief than the how. Especially teaching transformational webinars. I could go into a lot of the logical stuff, and some of you would be like so thrilled for that. You'd be like, yes, just all the details. But the majority of people will not apply those details because they didn't feel any transformation. It didn't really sink in. And they're gonna have the beliefs off them from the planet. So it's better to have someone leave a webinar with a belief change 
than just a bunch of here's what to do. Okay? That is so important when teaching transformation. You must leave them with transformed feelings, emotions, and experiences. Got it? Cool. Who can do that? You can. Anyone can. Okay? Even if you only have two people and one interacts and you just feel like a total loser, that's okay. Do it again. You'll get better. You'll get better. We all do. Good? All right. Good. So then once you do your uh, content, which is mixed with other pieces, so always good to do, the last part is you want to roll into your offer if you have an offer. If you are doing an offer, you're going to get into an offer. If you if someone's already paid you to do a webinar, so let's say they already paid you to teach something, it's either an offer slash commitment. That's what you got to do. So you got to leave with some sort of actionable, something that they're going to do. So for those of you who are uh, do my coaching, right? So when we hop on the group coaching, usually when someone asks a question and then I answer it, what at the end of the question do I usually do? Do you remember? Give assignment on do it this week or do it now when you get off the webinar. Yeah. A lot of times I'll ask, okay, what's your takeaway? So like, what's the thing that you're getting out of this? And then also, what are you going to do? Like, what are you learning again, and what are you going to do? What's the thing you're going to commit to and take action on? This makes it real. Because people are like, oh, yeah, I feel so good. And then they're like, okay, what are you going to do? And they're going to be like, oh, well, I feel so good about going and doing my webinar. And I'm like, great, when is it going to be? And they're like, oh, I don't feel so good anymore. Like, all the good feelings left. Like, what do you mean i got to take action? I just want to feel good about it. So doing makes people confront what they're avoiding. Doing gets them into action, which gets them the results. And we all want more results, right? Good. All right. So offering commitment. A couple pieces on the offering commitment. Number one, there's got to be some sort of problem. Number two, there has to be a Solution. Number three, by conquering that problem with a solution, there will also be benefits. And number four, there'll also want to be a how. So you'll have problem you want to talk about. So maybe like on the webinar, like, oh, and it's always a different problem from the one that you taught. It's the next level problem. So for example, on this webinar, let's say if I wanted to do an offer and I will oh, love offering and offering super fun. And it's gonna be the certification. Okay, so a lot of you have already heard about offers and you have it. But the certification starts next week. But let's say I wasn't doing the certification. Let's say I wanted to do a completely different offer, just about webinars. So I thought today how to facilitate a transformational webinar, right? The facilitating of a transformational webinar. So I helped solve that problem. But a good offer would be, well, there's still the problem of how do you fill a transformational webinar? How do you get it lined with people? How do you get people to flock to your webinar who are quality people who will then take action? So you want a different problem than that which you talked about. Similar problem, but next level problem, like the next logical step. So if I'm teaching on transformational webinars, one offer could be how to fill your webinars. I could offer something that would teach you how to fill your webinar. Another offer could be how to really sell from your webinar so that it could land and make you $10,000 per webinar. Like that could be another thing that I could sell, right? There's a different problem. You, does it make sense? So you want a different problem. One time, I tried to sell the same thing about teaching, and then everybody was like, well, I thought you just taught us that. So like, why are you selling us the thing that we already are? And I realized, oh, you yeah, got a different problem to offer. Like, so I was like trying to offer the same thing that I was teaching on, but I didn't really paint it as next level problem. So then they're like, well, you just taught us all that. So we don't need your product or anything. So we, we're just going to go do what you taught us. I was like, oh, dang. Like, you're right. You don't need what I have. Oh, okay. Well, let me go cry about this a little bit and think about how to do it differently. So then I did, and then I figured out, oh, yeah, you need a different problem. <laughs> different problem to solve. Once you share a different problem, then people have need a solution. So you want to paint that solution. Now, the solution, this you do want to talk about details. Details about how it is. The reason why is because people want to know specifically on the how. Oh, you can see the how. The how. Right here, the how. So on how. So if I'm like, okay, so the problem is that now that you know how to run transformation webinars, you don't know how to film them. And it's good to know how to do a, a webinar, but if you don't know how to film them, who are you going to teach? So my solution is the, uh, I'm going to make this up, but let's say I had an offer that was like, okay, uh, the Webinar filling or the webinar marketing system. How to market your webinar and get at least 10 to 50 people every time to show up, no matter your list. Okay, so that might be a good offer. So then I say, okay, so the solution is that. Now, the benefit to this is actually when you are in a state where you're just like, hey, I want to teach somebody, you can do it. So you describe some of the benefits. Benefits are tangible and intangible. So <clears throat> you can describe both. Some intangible benefits to this you're going to have confidence, you're going to be able to uh, fulfill events. And that's more of a tangible. So tangible, you'll be able to fill your events with people. Intangible, will be, you'll feel really good, like you'll feel excited. Also, a tangible is you'll be able to make money consistently. If you're in a tight spot, you can just run a webinar. Just do a webinar and teach and then facilitate. And boom, makes money, right? Benefits. Then you're going to talk more of the how. So how we are going to do this is in the system, there's X, Y, Z steps. So it's a four-step system, three-step system, and here's what it looks like. Week one, we're going to do this. Week two, we're going to do this. Week three, we're going to do this. This is how it's going to work. You're going to come into it, and you're going to talk more of the details on the solution and the how. That way, it answers all the questions in their head. And through this, you're also going to share the value of what this problem and solution is. So you want to paint the pain of the problem, like how much it costs them, for real. Like if you're not making offers or not doing webinars, it's not really costing you a whole lot except on missed opportunities. So if you want to make money, want to teach people, let's say your goal is to make $10,000 a month, $20,000, let's say it's $10,000 a month, and you're not doing that, then it's costing you ten dollars a month not knowing how. So the solution, then you want to compare the solution and say, well, the value on this is, let's say you just get to where you can do five k a month running webinars. Maybe just 5K, but you know how to do this. And would it be worth it? Let's say if you bought something for $10,000 to learn how to facilitate transformation webinars and fill them, or you could at least make $5,000 a month over the course of a year, would it be worth investing 10 grand if you could make 60 grand over a year? Sounds like a good investment to me. Most ROIs take three years to get back, right? But on this, you do it really quick. So instead of having to pay 10 grand, what if I just shared this with you for $2,000? $2,000, you'll learn how to fill your event. You'll be able to, right? So then you share the value 
compared to some of the problems. And that helps give a logical brain to justify why it would be worth to purchase with you. Okay? You guys want to, I know we're kind of going quick. I, I want to really focus today on transformation, the, the art of facilitating more than the offer. Like I said, maybe in the future we'll do a whole one on just selling from webinar and filling a webinar. Uh, but I just want to make sure that you can really get some value on, on delivering. If you can't deliver, then none of this even matters, the other parts. Yeah, Tyler, I have a question. Yeah, go for it. Uh, as far as facilitating, you talked earlier about holding the space mm -hmm. for, um, like, like if I am in a learning phase, we all are, and we're holding the space for myself, be this identity, the transformational teacher, and my mind says, oh, it's so exciting, or whatever part of my body says, oh, it's so exciting, I want to do this, but I know I haven't graduated yet, and I'm still, like, what you just said, like, um, oh, need a little more learning or solutions and trying to figure this out. What is the best way to go about that? Like, just to calm yourself and try to, um, like, how do you practice it? Like, do you want, you don't want to fail at this? Then you're going to feel like, oh, I don't this anymore. So actually, I encourage you to fail more. Uh, literally, just go fail. Just go do one and get it out of the way. Just go fail. Like, insert case, you're going to fail a lot. I'm actually going to put you through a lot of failures. You're going to fail really fast, okay? Because we think that we're going to the big shot. <laughs> like, the big one. I'm going to do the webinar and it's going to make me a million dollars. <laughs> we're like, man, I'll be an expert, right? And we wait till we're good enough. We have the certification. We have the plaque that says, Tyler, you're good enough. Stamp approval. We're like, Tyler, you are now good enough to now deliver the most powerful transformation ever. Check. Now you can deliver transformation. So I didn't wait for that. I knew no one was going to provide that validation for me. I knew the only way I was going to do that was for me to feel really fast, forward fast. So I work through my emotions. I back and then know the alignment technique. You do. But don't use the alignment technique as a crutch or an excuse. Align and then go do it. Or do it then afterwards. <laughs> Either way. Right? So that's really important because so many people wait. They wait for permission. They wait for someone to say, Tracy, you have now went through hell and back again. You can now teach. Well done. Go do it. And you're like, okay, I have now conquered all my emotions. I am now the being of exaltation and now I will go do it. No, you're still you. You're still going to screw up. You're still going to fail. So knowing that you're going to fail, just start failing faster. Because if you fail tomorrow, then you have to fail faster the next day. So I knew this principle was real. Back uh, story. Um, when I was doing enrollments, starting to sell, and I really sucked at selling, I just knew I needed to practice selling more. So, so I knew I needed more rejection. I was like, well, gosh, I hate rejection. Like, I really love helping people feel good. Like, that's my whole mission. I like to help people feel happy. I know life is bad. So I knew I needed to confront that. So when I was really broke, had no money, big, really like no money, had $400 in my big account, no clientele, nothing, and I was in debt, I knew in order to make money, I needed to go talk to people and get rejected and try to sell them. So I went for two days and just knocked doors. Man, it was horrible. It was the worst thing ever. Like, I just knocked all these doors of companies. I didn't know who I was talking to, what my message was, what I was even doing. I had none of the skills. None. I had nothing. No skills. Other than someone said that need fell forward faster. And someone said, play the numbers, talk to end at one. So I was like, okay, let's <laughs> do that. So I did it. And then I, it didn't work. I was like, man, I really suck. So I was like, okay, that, I fa I'm failing. How long does this failing thing have to last? Like, this is uh, not fun. But I just kept at it until I hit so far rock bottom that I decided I was going to do whatever it took to feel confident in myself to deliver and not need validation from other people. Because the whole time I was failing, I was still seeking validation from others. I was still trying to feel good enough inside. But no one was ever going to tell me and take me by the hands and say, Tyler, you're good enough. Go do it. Like, no one did that. So I had to do it to myself and look in the mirror and say, you're good enough. Go do it. And then I did it. And I failed. And I had to do it again. You're good enough. Go do it. And I was like, cry. I was seriously like, I cried a lot. I cried. I'm going to cry baby sometimes. So I cried a lot of tears. But I needed to do that to become the person capable of being able to facilitate transformation. Okay? You must shed the caterpillar. The caterpillar doesn't want to be seen. The caterpillar doesn't want to fail. The butterfly doesn't care. Doesn't need validation. So if you want to get to the butterfly, you have to put in the time as a caterpillar. You got, but you speed up, fail fast, fail forward. Okay? Tyler? Yeah. Can I add to that just a little bit? Something yep. that you shared before that helped me. And then align. Align so you don't have to fail uh, stupidly. Because if you're not aligned, you'll just keep failing. Like, <laughs> and without a purpose. But fail purposefully forward. So, and you do that when you're in state alignment. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, you did a, a webinar on telling your story. And you talked about being in the pit. Yeah. And then most people are still in the pit. And even if you're two steps above the pit, you talk, you, you teach those two steps. And then when they get those two steps, you're already two more steps further. Yes, exactly. So you don't have to think that you're, you know, you could be in the cocoon. Someone could be out of the cocoon. You could teach them how to get in the cocoon, right? Because you're ahead of them. So you don't have to be the butterfly off doing amazing things. You could just be in the cocoon. In fact, you could be four steps ahead as the caterpillar and just teach the other caterpillar, hey, there's some potholes right there. It hurts. Watch those potholes. That cost me a lot of money and effort, and it hurt. I'll teach you to avoid those. They'll be like, okay, <laughs> here's some money. Here's some time. Thank you for teaching me to avoid those potholes. Very well said. Yeah, virtual round of applause. Awesome. Awesome. Well done. Okay. 
that's what I have for you today. Um, this is, if you want to stick around, uh, how many are interested in me? I'm actually going to go through sharing offer. So if you want to see it live, I want to do it for you with you. And it's on the certification. We actually have uh, two spots left. So it's really fast. We just had two more people sign up today. So we actually might have more than 15, but we have like one or two spots left. Okay. We have almost 15 people, which is going to be super epic. Now, some of you uh, are already in. Actually, I think most all of you on the screen are in. So that's epic. You guys will be super fun teachers. Now, for those of you who are new, are, if, if you want me to go over this, I will. If you don't, totally fine. This is the other piece of offer. Never offer anything that people don't want. So I always ask, do you want me to offer you an opportunity if you want to learn actually how to market? Because we actually go into that in the certification. How to facilitate more. How to charge low tier, mid tier, high tier. And then how to teach a transformational technique. How to fill events. How to facilitate the event. How to do this in depth as a career where you can make multiple six figures doing it. If you're interested in me going over that, we're starting this next week. I can go over the details, share the offer. If you're not interested, well, you just wrap it up and call it a day. Either way, I've had a lot of fun. This has been super exciting for me. So is there anyone on here that is interested in me sharing some of the details about the certification to where you could actually learn how to teach as a career and teach a transformational uh, technique called the abundance alignment technique, where you'd learn how to facilitate, learn how to fill events, learn how to market those, and create a really good lifestyle doing so. Anyone interested in that? Paul says, yes, I would love to hear more. Perfect. So next thing, if there's one person, do it. Okay? Because that you might change that one person's life. Even if everybody is else like, no, well, they can just go away because it's all about the one, right? You always teach even if only one person shows. One time I did an event and I put a lot of intention to it and one person showed. So then I just acted as if there were 100 people in the room. And I was like, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. And they're like, whoa, they're like, well, just me. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm so excited to hear you. It's awesome. So they get excited and you get excited and we get excited together. And we have a great time. And they feel like they're transformed. It, I, I remember one time I was doing this was more of 11. We had three people in the room. Everybody was super late. And there were supposed to be like 50 people in the room. There was literally like, Two or three. And they were one in front, one in the middle, and one in the back. And I was like, so excited. I was like, hey, everybody, welcome to be here. I'm so excited that you're here. This is awesome. It's a become event where we talked about addictions, becoming, and transforming. And literally, all three of them like turned backwards and looked, and they're like, it's just us. Like, what is going on? And I was like, I know. We're all in this together. This is awesome. So when you bring the energy, people bring it back. When you bring the energy, people bring it back. And it's a lot of fun. They remember it. I remember it. People remember how they feel. Okay, let's get into the offer. So I'm going to share my screen with you and go over some of the details of this opportunity. This is called the Abundance Alignment. Uh, hold on a second, give me one second. I'm pulling up the funnel for you so you can see the details. Oh, abundance, there we are. Okay. I don't know if you can see the screen for a second. Let me share it. Share screen. Can you guys see this screen where it says Abundance Alignment Technique Certified Instructor? Yes. Perfect, thank you. All right. Oh, big thing. I used to think that so it's like into chunks. So when you're teaching, it's like this feeling of, okay, you have your intro, right? You have your content. Oh my goodness, spelling is amazing today. Content, there we go. And then you have your offer. I used to feel like they were into chunks. The problem with this is they feel separated. So I don't look at this at all. I look at, it's all one webinar. So when you go into the cell, you should not stop teaching. You should not stop all the things you're doing. I used to feel super awkward when I get into the offer. I'd be like, okay, I'm getting into the offer now. The deep, dark secret. I'm trying to make some money and change people's lives. And I felt like this icky feel because I felt like I had to separate it. Like, okay, I've got all these great things, but now, uh, oh, now I have to offer. And I felt like it was a chore. Like I had to do it. Has anyone ever felt gross or icky or uncertain when you're trying to like offer something to someone? Anyone ever felt that way before? Or was it just me? I don't know. Just me. So I know for me, I felt that way a lot. And I had a lot of resistance around offering and selling. So one of the parts around transform transformational is don't separate them. When you do your intro, when you're doing your content and when you're offering, it's all the same. You're changing people's lives. It's one continual flow. And you don't have to like put on a new face or a new state or change something up. It's, it's you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Good? Got it? That's important. Okay. All right. So this is not one of your ordinary certified technique classes. In fact, I've done a lot of certifications in the past. Now, this certification is for you if you want to do the following. If you want to, oh, let me, actually, I think it's on here. If you want to, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. So the mission, 
to create a team of transformational leaders who know and teach the fastest, easiest, most effective process to help people create permanent change in their lives and thereby create lasting change in their communities and on the planet. I teach a technique called the abundance line technique. It's like a weird technique where you tap and you breathe through your nose and smile and stuff, but it does really cool stuff. Like helps people get rid of gluten allergies and soy and lactose, helps people double their income, helps people reconnect to their past, helps people heal from relationship issues. We've seen people change their complete health. Like we've had people get rid of symptoms of five years struggling with cardiac arrest symptoms. Uh, not being able to function over four hours a day, getting doubling that after aligning, uh, getting their hearing and, and eyesight back, like crazy, crazy stuff. It all comes down to allergies, addictions, and alignment. So this technique is super powerful, super amazing. And it all dives into helping people see that the only reason, the only reason, and, and you might have to like spend some time to get this. Even my wife has to tell me a, a lot of times, like, is this really like, the only reason like allergy and addiction, what is it? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Probably an allergy and addiction. So even I do that sometimes I'm like chain, like really like this is an allergy or addiction. Yes. So only reason you have something you don't want in your life is because some part of you is addicted to that frequency or allergic to what you want. So you're going to get certified to learn the technique. If you don't know the technique and to teach the technique. Now, what if you're like, Tyler, I don't really want to do your technique, but I have a lot of my own techniques and a lot of things that I'd love to learn to teach. Totally cool. The goal is by the time you're done, you'll be able to teach any type of modality because if you have the form of how to do it, then it doesn't really matter what you teach. Same with the principle of today. Like I didn't teach you what to teach. I just taught you the how. So you could fill that with any type of principle, any type of thing you're teaching. Same thing goes when you're going to be certified as an abundance alignment technique instructor. Yes, you will be able to teach it to people and get paid. But more importantly, if you have other techniques, you can teach those just as powerfully and sell those too. Okay. So this isn't meant to just be, hey, now you're just going to do the abundance alignment technique. If you want to do that, cool. But my mission on the planet isn't just to get a ton of people to do what I do. It's to help you do what you're meant to do. And if that's part of what I do, awesome. If it's a lot of what you do or a lot of what other people do, awesome. I just want to get you into that state where you know how to teach and transform and make good money at it. Make sense? Yeah, so far? Thumbs up, big cheesy green. Or in the chat box or just unmute yourself. I actually can't see you and I'm in small mode. So I just have to hear you. Um, okay, cool. So details, you're going to do that. The manifesto. This is important. This is the overall manifesto you are going to embrace. When you set goals, you nail them in days and weeks instead of months or years. You live with no regrets as every decision you make turns into gold. You don't wait to find a passion. You live life passionately. You lead by example and confront everything. That's yes, even doing a webinar and failing forward fast, right? Confronting everything you avoid or fear. You're done with shame, blame, guilt, and you take full responsibility for your results. You empower, you are empowered to do whatever it takes while keeping that which is most sacred to you. You are a warrior and fight for your cause. You are unstoppable. So unstoppable preneur, manifesto, that's you. That's who you're going to become, okay? This is the identity that we are taking on as a certified instructor. This is super important because the first week we're getting into vision and creating a movement of influence. How do you get a movement and back that movement and influence people to transform? So the first week we're gonna gain a big vision of how much money you wanna make, how much impact you're gonna do, and the movement that you're going to create. Everyone has their own unique movement based on your life history and your story. How many in here have a story, have lived through stuff. Have you ever been through something that's tough that maybe you could share some value on with other people? Yeah. Well, then you can create a movement. Yes. Yes. So you can create a movement. You don't have to have years and 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 hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in something. You just have to have a story, a story. And I believe if you're alive, you probably have a story, right? <laughs> so we all have a story. 
sometimes we don't think it's that valuable until you see the value that it can provide. So that's going to be a big piece. You're going to learn about energy work, how to do the technique, doing it on other people, doing it on yourself, mastering that part, how to facilitate it on non-believers, on believers, doing it remote, online sessions, dealing, uh, holding the space, how to deal with people's emotions, really helping people transform uh, through the first three weeks. It's all about people and impact. Then we get into number week number four. This is where we're going to actually get into where we're uh, teaching it. So you're going to understand how to actually do it online and in person and the, the remote. Then we get into, oh, sorry. So we're not actually teaching yet. Week five, building your package that's going to sell. Week six, finding and enrolling clients. And then uh, week seven, we get into actually holding the online workshop and live. So by the time you're done, you're not only going to be able to do it online, but you're also going to be able to teach live. And guess what? After all of this stuff, everybody's going to Florida. Florida to teach. Florida hold all these live events. So pretty soon, there is going to be a huge spike in live events. And you are going to be some of the first people that can hold live events. And you can invite people to come connect again. It's going to be awesome. People are hungry for it. I'm hungry for it. Like I'm actually going to Florida to some events. So you can do that for people and be that while we ride this weird, awkward stuff with all that's happening in the world and be on the forefront of teaching and holding live events. Cool? How many in here want to do that? Would love to just hold transformational events where people leave transformed and you've made good money and they, they feel like they've had so much value and it just is super fun. How many would love that? Would be, would yes. be amazing. Yes. Cool. Okay, so you're going to learn that. We're also going to refine your message and market to the people uh, this, this part, we get into more of the marketing. So this is a lot more of the how to, I wanted to incorporate this because I've seen so many certifications that just teach how to do the techniques. That's not my goal. We're going to do, this is like four courses in one. Yes. You're going to learn the technique. Yes. You're going to learn how to do the technique. Yes. You're going to learn how to teach the technique. Yes. You're going to learn how to facilitate and hold live events and workshops. Yes, you're going to learn how to sell from those workshops and put together your mid-tier, low-tier, and high-tier packages, how to actually upsell and create an upsell that matters, that people want. Then we're going to do um, marketing. So I'm going to teach you marketing. To give you some perspective, I've almost spent half a million dollars over the past six, seven years putting all this together. Literally, it's almost a half a million bucks. And it's been super worth it, you know? So... Uh, you don't have to go and spend seven years learning all this and spend half a million dollars to do it. You can just learn it in one place. And that was my goal. I was like, man, I hope people don't have to go through everything I did to get to where I am. I'd rather you just do it all within a couple months. So is it okay if I help you do it really fast in short amount of time, get some massive results? Is that cool? Yeah. Anybody for like faster paced things? <laughs> like, let's just get to the results. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna get into that. The This is an added bonus that I'm gonna do uh, as part of week eight or week nine. Uh, or let's see, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna hold live events, making them profitable. We're going to also stand out and market like a pro. So this one, I have a whole, to give you some perspective, we spend anywhere from one to $2,000 a week on ads. And those ads then lead to a webinar and that webinar then leads to a consultation. That consultation, uh, they also get put in a, a email, which is why many of you are here. And then that then leads to sales. Okay. I want to teach you and give you my funnel. I want to teach you how to do it. I'm actually going to have you do your 15 to 30 minute. It's called a, a VSL, a virtual sales letter. And I'm going to have you put it all together and I'm going to critique it. So you might have to redo it two or three times because I want it to convert so that if anybody interested in learning from you, you can send them to that and then they can book a consultation and they can buy your products. Cool. Or you can just lead them right to your sales page. And I'm going to help you put together that. So I really want to do that because I just, that was a huge game changer for me. It goes from the one-on-one -on -one to teaching the masses and it frees up so much of your time. Okay. I had to spend just like just that over 10 grand just to learn that. So I want to do that for you and help you do that. Cool. Is that okay if I do that for you guys and help you just really map that out, get it super solid so that you can get it going. I know people who just sell that literally like 5,500 bucks, $10,000 to just get a VSL, get the whole, all of that together. Okay. 
I'm, that's going to be, we're probably going to end up extending this instead of just 12 weeks is going to be about 14 because I really want to make sure that each of you, and I can only put 15 in to give you that, uh, cause I'm going to have to watch everybody's stuff and critique it several times. So that's going to be a lot of hours. So I'm, I'm probably going to extend it to about 14, 15 weeks. And the goal here, since we're only doing this this year, we're not doing it anymore this year is that we spend as much time as it needs for you to get the end result. So if I have to extend it extra weeks, I don't care what we're going to do. It's going to be to where you can do it and you can feel confident, competent and get real money teaching transformation. Okay. Not any of that of like, yay, I'm certified. And now I don't have anything. No, you're going to be certified and making money by the time you're done. Deal. Okay. Heck yeah. All right. So none of that, like, yay, you're certified now. Uh, good luck to you. No, we're going to work on a lot of pieces. Okay. This is a lot. It is a lot what we're doing. Um, I had somebody just join because they just wanted it all. They had a lot of these pieces together, but they hadn't put it all in one place. So they joined and they're like, okay, now someone's here to finally put it all together so I can get results. So I'm excited to do that. Now you could pay 15, 20, $30,000 for all these little pieces. You could pay hundreds of thousands for all these pieces like I did. Instead of doing that, you don't even have to pay 10,000 for it. I think the value is well over 36 grand. And here's how you have to look at it. If you could fill an event, which is what I'm teaching you, online or live, and we're gonna do both, and you charged anywhere from $200 to $1,000 to attend your event to give them a certain outcome. Could be a day event, could be two days, could be three days. And let's say you just charge 500 bucks. You get 10 people in, that's $5,000, okay? Then out of those 10 people, you're gonna upsell them to the next level of your stuff for anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000. Let's say it's a $2,000 offer. So 500 entry, right? So 500 times 10, 5,000. And let's say two or let's just say two people sign up for your 2K program. You just did almost $9,000 doing a day's work. Now, of course, there's the marketing beforehand, right? There's the facilitating. And then there's also the delivery afterwards of your upsells. But in the long run, you could run this once a month. You could do it every other month. If you don't want to do too much work, you could do it every... Uh, just a big one once a year or twice a year. So it's really up to you how much energy and effort you want to do on this. I love what we do. Uh, we're on our way to do over a million dollars this year, hopefully with uh, what we're doing and our focus. And we've come a long way from me struggling, making less than $15 an hour as a massage therapist six years ago. So I'm excited to deliver this, to teach you. Uh, you don't even have to pay $10,000 for it. You don't even have to pay 15 or or you don't even have to pay nine or 8,000. So if you haven't learned the full process, here's what it looks like. Uh, you get the whole thing. If you pay in full, it's one payment of 6,700 bucks, three payments of 2,302 or seven payments of 1,028. Price does go up a hundred dollars. Uh, I forgot to increase it today. <laughs> like I actually just didn't uh, do it. So you guys got lucky. So you have till Saturday and then it goes up another hundred dollars. So this will be this price point till Saturday night. And then I'm going to uh, increase it another hundred dollars and we start Tuesday. So we're starting Tuesday. So you got to sign up, in, right? So <clears throat> it's, it's coming soon. Okay. If you want to sign up, it's pretty easy. You just do that. You click here. If you've already purchased the full technique, so you've already spent probably a thousand to 1500, 3,500 or 12,000 with me or more, then you can click this link. And it's, you get a discount for that. If you've already bought the technique in the past, if you have one technique, you're going to get the course on the full technique. And I'm going to give you a bonus one-on-one -on -one session with me, which is a thousand dollars to do. You get that as a bonus and you get the bonus course of mentoring. So after all this is done, I'm going to do a whole course on teaching people how to facilitate transformation one-on-one -on -one as a mentor. And so regardless of techniques, how to just hold the space for someone where by the time they're done, they can change. Cool. That was cool because I, I love learning how to mentor and coach. And for those of you who are in my coaching and mentoring, how do you like it? Like, what do you get out of that? Like we do the weekly group mentoring every other week. How do you like, what do you get out of that? Being able to, to get some transformation. What does that do for you? I'd love to just hear some, some thoughts. Uh, 
Um, it's, it's really been amazing. I've taken several courses. Um, we were actually being coached by a particular, um, I won't say the name of the company, but I was very disappointed. Um, he didn't want to anything. His, his first words out of his mouth was, is I'm not your therapist. I don't want to know anything about your past. We just move forward. And what was hard was you're dealing with a lot of mental stuff. Um, most, most people are. You don't hit the road running when you're starting a business. And we've ran and started many businesses, but there was a lot of mental stuff after, you know, that we needed to clear. And, and he wasn't, none of that was, was offered. And so Tyler's program has been absolutely amazing for that. Being able to clear a lot of mental crud that we accumulate over the years. And uh, to be able to have this all put together is absolutely amazing. Because what we have offered programs that don't cover half of the stuff that Tyler covers. Oh, thank and you. To be able to just put it all together, I, I am so excited. I just cannot wait <laughs> to, to because I, I honestly know that this time with the program that I'm with his program, not only am I certified to teach the abundance alignment technique and the rest of it, but it's also being able to have that marketing side of it, have the sales side of it, have the understanding of the all of the social media and how it works. I mean, for me, it's been a, a real puzzle and mind-boggling just to try to learn it on my own and so i truly appreciate everything you're doing Tyler. thank you oh that was awesome thanks for that testimonial yeah virtual round of applause for that that's awesome i love it thanks so much so that's that's the offer today uh it's pretty simple i know if you have ever done any marketing or learned any marketing that i think it's a fair price like for what we're doing really fair <laughs> i've bought a week-long program for 10 grand i've done uh marketing systems for 10 grand eight grand five grand and i i wanted just to put it all together like not only marketing, not only teaching, not only uh, the technique, not only webinars. I was like, oh my goodness, like this should be like a $20,000 offer. But I wanted just to get it out to you guys to, to, to get some momentum, to get some results. And I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, go ahead. So that one particular coaching program we took cost more than what we're paying for your program. Yeah. And it only lasted six months and it was garbage. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So we would love to have you on board. If you do have any questions, now is a good time to ask them. Uh, anything about the program, anything about the details, anything about the webinar we just did. I'm excited. We have two spots left for the certification. So if you would like to take action on that, here's the link. I'm going to get it to you right now. And I'll put it in the chat. And you can uh, click it. And you can pick whichever. You pay a little extra if you do a payment plan. But if that serves you a little better, then heck, even with the little extra, it's still 100 times worth it. So uh, whatever you can do, if you want to save a little money, pay in full. If you want to do a little financing, then you can uh, do that payment plan. And that is the link. So if you got the link, if you, this resonates, do it. If it doesn't, I've loved having you on. Um, and I'd love to see you guys uh, in the certification. I just love seeing people who really want to make a difference and helping them do that. So questions, questions about anything that we've covered today or anything about certification? Jokes. Cool. So that's as easy as the offer gets. You know, I just did an offer and you could pick apart the offer. It wasn't the best. Like I didn't like go into all the details and even add all the stuff. But this is how I do it differently every time. And the cool thing is, you don't, I don't believe there's a right way. I just believe that you just keep teaching, keep transforming, keep offering, keep helping, right? You don't have to be perfect at this, okay? I'm in no way perfect at making offers and doing all this. I am good at it, and you will become good at it too. And you don't have to be perfect though. You don't have to do what? Perfect. No, no perfection. Perfection, no. But you do have to practice. So yes, Tracy, you will have to fail forward fast, right? <laughs> and it can be fun. It can be a journey. It can be joyful. You can find joy through the failing. And look at every failure as one step closer to your success, right? Who was it? Like Thomas Edison learned a thousand ways not to make libel, but then he figured it out. So I don't think it'll take a thousand times to fail to get this. Like hopefully it'll take two or three fails and then you got it. Hey, do we get to wear those cool shirts you wear? Yeah, so I ordered know? some. I ordered some and I'm going to give them to everybody as bonuses. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I didn't tell that to everybody, but we're going to figure out how to get that to everybody. So you're going to be unstoppable. And I have multiple colors. So you can get white, the blue, the the black whichever one you want cool okay uh was this good did you guys get good value out of today are you going to be better at transforming people's lives through transformational events or transformational webinars yes yes cool thank you guys so much if you do want to do the certification jim Rohn says hey or jim, uh, he says like opportunities is like the wind that blows on all the sails and how you set your sail will dictate. You know, i'm thrashing his quote but basically it's like the opportunities are blowing everywhere, but how you set your sail is really what's going to make the difference. So you can miss out on opportunities or you can set your sail and ride it and take action to create a massive impact. Okay. If this resonates with you, if you really want to be a better speaker, a better coach, a better facilitator, 
transformation, then sign up for the certification. This is the only time we're offering it this year. And I promise you, it'll be amazing. Okay. And we already have like 14 people in there. So I am opening for two more spots. It's going to be super fun. We're starting next week. And then all the details, like it's recorded. So if you can't make it live, it doesn't even matter. We're going to practice a lot. We're going to do a lot of stuff. It's going to be fun. Epic. You're going to confront a lot of stuff. You'll probably cry. And that'll be fun. You'll have each other to lean on. You're going to go through a lot of things. You're going to push yourselves. And by the time you're done, you're going to become the best version of you three, four months out. And you're going to be making a lot of money, making a lot of impact without all the resistance. So I'm excited. I'm ready. Hope you are too. Whether you want to do the certification or not, if you do, here again is the link. You can click it. Join. I am increasing the price point again this Saturday, $100 extra. Even if you paid that and waited, it'd still be worth it. Like I said, like it's, it's totally worth it in whatever price point you do. And ask yourself, anytime you're going into something, ask yourself, how and why would this be worth it to me? That's how I look at everything. So if I'm going to do an investment, I always look at what would I have to do to make this worth $6,700 or $7,000 or $8,000 or $10,000? Well, if I changed this belief, was able to learn events and ran a successful event and could do that, I'd feel it'd be worth it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's if I just got the confidence to get my webinar done, like and I learned how to do my webinar market, that would be worth it. Sweet. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's if I learned how to put together my high tier program, my mid tier and my low tier and how to sell some of those, that'd be worth it. Sell my $10,000 high end pro program. That'd be worth it. Sell one of those. That'd be worth it. Right? So you have to look at the worth. Some people it might be, well, finally I'll live my dream. Finally, I'll confront my fears. That would be worth it. Finally, I'll be able to connect better with human beings. That would be worth it. Worth in the eye of the beholder. So whatever you behold, that is the worth. And you have to decide what you're going to get out of this because you're going to be a part of it. You're going to bring it and hopefully be part of that transformation. So I just want to thank you guys for being here. If you do have questions, you can uh, answer, ask them right now. I'll be on for just a couple minutes and we'll wrap this up. So any other questions regarding certification or holding transformation, anything else before we wrap this up? Will we be able to see this, uh, this here little webinar? Um, where do we find this again? Yeah, so you can find this a couple places. I'll be emailing it out to everybody registered and it'll be on my YouTube channel and it'll Got be it. open to the public. So you nice. can go to my... A YouTube channel and it'll be here and the certification will be in the description as well for those who need the certification link. Okay. Yep. Any other questions? Did you guys have fun? I had fun. Oh man, that was a blast. Man, you're, you're so funny. Authentic. Thanks. Authentic. <laughs> Thanks. This is fun. This is fun. By the way, if you think you have to have everything put together, just to show you, here's my, here's my, uh, we, we just moved. <laughs> so, so like, you don't have to have everything together. Look, this looks nice. Thank right? you. Right? This is Thank like, you for showing up. I appreciate look that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So we just, we just moved. So like, it is not anywhere close to put together. So like, you just have to feel like you're putting together for a moment. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, I need to fix those books, man. Like they've been haunting me the past week. We moved two weeks ago. I know. <laughs> so oh, really? we've, we've got our kitchen in order. So that's good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> our bedroom almost. <laughs> this is like least priority. Like as long as I don't board in some shelves and I'm good. <laughs> so you don't need to have a perfect space. You don't need to be perfect at it. You just need to do it. Okay, well, I can make excuses. Oh, no, I need to make sure I'm organized before I do it. No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Even you can be a transformational artist. Right? That's awesome. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, hope to see you in the certification. If you have questions, you can always book a consultation too. If uh, you do have a question on about the certification, if you're going to click the link to purchase and then you go off of it, a pop-up will pop up to to book a consult if you want to have a consultation on it you can okay because i know sometimes a good com consultation helps uh, hey you know those consultations um i i signed up for one of the consultations and i have to tell you deborah when we were done the consultation um deborah gave me her cell phone number and said doreen call me when you've signed up and um i did i called her i left her a voice message and then she called me back Okay. And she says, you, you know, we had a little chat for, for a few minutes. And I was just like, part of the consultation that I, I, I asked a lot of questions. I want to know who's working with you, Tyler. Yeah. And, <laughs> right. Yeah. And I was really impressed because, you know, I, I'm like, well, what kind of people are you surrounded by over there? And I just thought that that was just the kindest thing ever for her to offer me her number and then call me back after I left her a message and chatted. So um, That's awesome. thank you. Yeah. 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 This is kind of how it works, you know, and it's just normal life. So you don't have to have a big company. You don't have to have like tons of people. I have two, three people in my group, you know, so, and we rotate out and it's, it's super simple. So you don't have to have super complicated stuff. You don't have to have like 30 employees. That's just too, ah, that's just too much. Like you don't have to do that. And you can do that and make 500 grand, uh, a million dollars and maybe have three, four people working for you. So you that's don't have it. to, you don't have that's to. That's so yeah. simple. Yeah. Like to give you an idea, like I've, um, I, I've done events where we've done over a quarter million dollars. I've done, uh, where we've generated over 400 grand in a year and had maybe one or two people work for me. So um, 
you don't have to have a ton of stuff. And this year, we're going to hit a million, and we might have one extra person to hop on board. You know, so it's your authentic. It really, it really shows how much you care about people and the people that are working with you as well. I mean, it's it's just. I mean, that's why I'm showing up again. Right? Yeah. Well, thank I mean, you. Yeah, I'm excited. You got and you guys are gonna be great. So thank you guys so much. I am done talking. My wife's hey. always like, make this one short, and I'm like, oh yeah. And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Tyler. Thank you so much. Right, thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Have, a, have an awesome. All right. Bye. <laughs>